What's up, Libra? Let's get into your 48-hour reading. Let's see. We're going to be pulling up all the energies that's coming towards you. Everything that's coming to Libra within the next 48 hours. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Oh. All right. Somebody could have some issues with family. Family quarrels. Family quarrels. You do have a tower. You also have the pig. The pig is phenomenal luck in a situation. There's a surprise too. Be prepared for a surprise. What else? What else? What else? Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got children with extraordinary honors. Children doing good. Maybe a child does something extremely good or extremely something surprises you. I feel like you're shocked at how friendly or how gentle maybe children are doing good. Maybe if you have little kids. They ain't going to wear you out this weekend, okay? All right, so you do have feeling yourself, yes. And it's right up under the pig. So there's something that you have a lot of luck in. Protection, protection, protection on this tower. No sickness from it. For some of you guys, you are not going to get that nasty energy. Let it go. It's messing with your energy. But you have protection over this. It's not going to get your energy. So I feel like you let something go in a nick of time or something could cook it ripped from your arm. Something like, something could end... Just for you. Yeah, look, good energy all the all around. Let me actually put this one right here beside it because no, 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 no. Good energy all around. Protection, protection. Protection, protection, protection. Let it go. It's messing with your energy. You got to leave them right where they are at. I'm going to go into the kipper. I want to the kipper too. All right, let's see. To end off, what else? What else do we have coming to Libra within the next 48 hours? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Got this spare. Somebody's not hiring. Somebody's still on a job search. Somebody's still going through this energy like, ugh. Feeling discouraged a little bit on their job search. There's a message coming. All right. There's a message coming to you. We're going to see what's here. All right. And we do have a privileged lady. All right. So there's some type of help around. Help. Help is around here. All right. Let's get right into this reading. Let's see. Give me about. Three shuffles. And then we're going to get right into it. Okay, tell me more about the rod. Family crows, the rod. Family disagreements, family arguments. Mm. You got the four of wands here. False foundations. Look, devil energy. First, somebody was trapped in a situation or a person realized how low vibrational or how negative something was. Look, you thought it was this ultimate wish fulfillment and you realized it was that. But now this change. I feel like a person could be getting out of a situation I feel like you could be worried about what makes you happy instead of something else. I do also feel like there could be a, a like a party going wrong or an argument in the house or somebody getting kicked out of a house or something like that. Yeah, you do have the judgment card here. Um, I do feel like this could be you kicking a person out or moving out of a house or finally are, or cussing somebody ass out. And the angels is like, good for you. Finally. Finally, like somebody, you could be cussing somebody ass out and it's like, finally, finally you stood up for yourself or putting somebody out, getting out of a place. It's like the house is turned upside down, but instead the angels is like, go ahead, Libra. Tell me more. Sometimes you got to knock everything off the table. Tell me more about, um, the pig. Tell me more about the pig. Sometimes you got to knock all the shit off the table, okay? 
This is phenomenal luck. Whatever this is, it got you feeling yourself. It got you happy. All right, yes, you got the six of wands coming out. This is your flowers. This is recognition for your labor, your hard work. This is victory. It tastes really, really sweet here. You have this devil card here, and you, this person thought that they can stop your victory. So I feel like there's an argument with the person because they tried to stop something that was coming to you. Not stopping checks. Not a person trying to stop your people from liking you, but people do do that. This person tried to stop you and you, you finally could, yeah, you finally put somebody in their place. This is, this is what you deserve. You could realize that a person was trying to stop what it is that you were bringing or what, or what was coming to you. Just, just God given. This is your flowers. This is recognition for your hard work. Tell me more about the tower. Yeah, you got the nine of wands. You could be feeling weak about something. It's like some argument makes you feel like giving up something, giving up on something, stopping something. But there's a phone call that you get. There's a message that comes in from a, a really, really fun person, somebody who's funny. Really, really funny. Um, and this could be a person from your past that kind of calms you down a bit. Like something something had you thinking like you were going to give up. And this is all works. Who is this person here? This is somebody who has this control. They're a, manipula a man manipulator, a narcissist. They're all things just, and they don't care. They want to be that. So there's somebody who you, you're getting away from. Tell me more about the lightning. All right. So there's a surprise here. Oh, so somebody is going to a deeper level of commitment. OK. For some of you guys, there could be a child. For some of you guys, you could have had a baby previously or this just could have been puppy love or like a new love previously. Now things are moving. There's a rebirth in the relationship and this person wants to, I'm feeling like somebody could be wanting to recommit themselves to the relationship or they want to get a deeper commitment in the relationship all to all, all, all together. So this person completely changed. Maybe they weren't talking about a relationship or something like that. This could have a lot to do with you leaving a situation. You know, you could have left the situation and was like, you know what? I want commitment. You don't want commitment. That's cool. I want you. I wish the best for you and I want the best for me. And they probably didn't sit well with that. Tell me more about um, children. All right. We have the eight of swords. Okay. Who is this child that's stuck? There's a child that is going to self-sabotage themselves. Hmm. There could be a child that could be going through some temporary. Okay, so that was in the past. All right, so okay. So so there there's a child who was in the past going through some some depression or going through some type of they were self-sabotaging themselves every step, but they didn't know that they were self-sabotaging. They thought they were they were actually stuck in a cycle and things kept happening. This child could have possibly kept all of this information from you. Like kept you out of the loop, okay? Now you are 100% happy because I feel like the child is also opening up to you. We do have this open, it's an open flow of communication, but also they're, they're happier. You can see it on them. They, they're just, they're just happier. I do also feel like that there's something in their past, whether it could be a past school, it could be a past meal or a snack, something that they used to like as a kid or something like that. I don't know why I just feel like their favorite ice cream or something. Give them their favorite ice cream or take them to their favorite ice cream spot if they like ice cream or desserts or something like that. That's what I'm getting from this. And it's it's something about this gesture. It's something that, something so simple. You know, it's the little things that make people fall, like make people cry like a damn baby. It'd be the little things, like the teeny, teeny things, not the big extravagant things that we think. But it, it's the teeny little things, something as simple as watching an old movie or going to a place that a person used to love or 
going to have a certain type of dessert or something like that. It could be something so, so simple. So I do feel like that um, a person is open, open now. Tell me more about filling yourself. They also may be gifting you something. Tell me more about um, filling yourself, filling yourself. Okay, yes. This gift, this return, you already put your wants out there in the past, right? This is this is sound like manifestation. So you put what you want out there. You put your heart on your sleeve. Everybody knows your desire, knows your heart, knows what it is that you want. And you get it back. Okay, so this is love. This is lovers coming in. And you're so anxious. This is this anxious, anxiety-driven because you actually get that which you what you ask for comes right back to you. This could be a gift. This could also be love, a love relationship here. And you are so anxious here. This is coming because you're going through a mental transformation, a spiritual transformation. And you're, you're able to manifest at a high level, a very, very high level, very, very fast. Tell me more about protection, protection, protection. Yes. Protection, protection, protection. Yeah, you are in an illusion, protecting your mind from being in that illusion of thinking that you weren't about to take this step or you weren't about to continue on your journey because you are right here beside the chariot. It's just that you got to just find your balance again. You just got to knock off balance with something. And this will be with this family BS that you've been going through. But yeah, you are not about to stop right before you get the Ace of Cups. Absolutely not. All right. Tell me more about let it go is messing with your energy. The Ace of Cups is full abundance. It's your heart's desire. So you're not about to stop right before you get your heart's desire, are you? Absolutely not. Tell me more about let it go is messing with your energy. Mm. Yeah. This corrupt emperor here, this person here, I know they were wish fulfillment in the past, um, but they're not. They're not now. And you're acting like everything is fine. You're still stuck in the past. There's a need for you to let this person go. Okay. It's messing with your energy. It's messing with you. Let this person go. Somebody was wish fulfillment in the past, but they're not. Yeah, it's the empress. The empress. You met you an emperor, but he was in... He was a wounded emperor or a toxic emperor. Wasn't the real, wasn't the real thing. So the emperor is, and, and the empress feels with all of her, all of her being. She may get upset and a flower dies or something. That's just how, how her aura, how everything is in the room. Like she may get upset and a flower just dies, okay? She's feeling everything. There's a need for you to feel and let it go. Because if you try to release not feeling or try to suppress feeling it, it's going to stay around for longer, longer. Tell me more about good energy all around. All right. You have the eight of pentacles. Somebody is not able to focus on something because it's just so much good energy all around. Somebody is definitely having a lot of fun. Something is moving really, really fast. You do have the Empress here. So this is manifestations. You're attracting a lot of things really, really fast. And it's taking your focus. Like I said, somebody is really, really anxious, anxiety. Like it's taking a lot of focus. There's some type of hidden message or hidden news or hidden, hidden information. Okay, you do have the high priestess, so that will be coming to you in a dream or a vision or a meditation. Tell me more about leave them right where they're at. All right, you got the ten of pentacles. This could be somebody in a family. Yeah, you have the hermit here taking your energy. It looks like you're going to be moving on. And you're going to have to be disciplined with how you move on because you can easily, there's a boundary that needs to be set. Like a not even a, a wall, okay. Somebody needs to stay exactly where they are. You got the Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody is definitely going to be coming to express their feelings, probably say sorry or whatever. There's a need for you to leave a person where they are at, especially if it was this person with this big devilish control. They really thought that they can have that that amount of control, and they really tried. Like they tried it for real. 
Leave them right where they at. Tell me more about despair. <clears throat> Somebody burnt their bridges. Somebody burnt their bridges. Somebody burnt some type of bridges. They could have burnt them with you. But they're like, why am I why am I not excelling? Why is something not happening? Why am I not getting hard higher? Why oh, because relationships get you through. I don't know who I don't know who told you, but relationships are key. So somebody burnt their bridges. And this could be the person who burnt their bridges with you. Yeah. By by spreading news, by being mean, by arguing, having arguments with people. All right. We got the seven of not the seven of we got the knight of cups coming out. Somebody is definitely going to be expressing their feelings towards you. Somebody's coming at you fast. Like you got a lot of people coming at you fast. Uh Libra. Coming at you real, real strong. It could be a little chaotic. It could be a lot for you. A lot at once. Somebody is trying. They, they're begging for forgiveness. You got the death card. They, they, they're begging for forgiveness. They're coming to you, telling you how they feel, telling you how much they love you and blah, 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 how wrong they were. And da, 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 da. Like they're really, really expressing their heart and their emotions. Okay. Tell me more about the privileged lady. Okay, the privileged lady has a choice to make. So there's a person who needs help, but they're mean. You know those people who need help, but they mean as hell. They got a terrible ass attitude. And it's like, well, I'm not helping your ass then. And they really need help. Like they, they fucked up. But they got a terrible ass attitude. And they, and they burn, burn their bridges. They burn their bridges more than anybody. They are the weapon that's formed against themselves. They are, they are their own weapons. That attitude, that mouth, okay? And they be the most, you know, the people, I realize the people who talk the most or cause the most hell, those be the people who need a lot of people, like who can't really do nothing by themselves. Got the queen of pentacles. And they're thinking about helping. They're thinking about nurturing the situation. But this person, like, who's the real person? It's like, it's, it's like when a person needs you, then they want to calm down and be all meek and be all whatever, be understanding, behave properly. But then when a person thinks that they don't need you, then they give you, you know, they ask to kiss. I forgot what type of person that is. But people are literally like that. And then next thing you know, they coming back around swallowing their swallowing their pride but it's just like it's too much for this privileged lady somebody this could be you you could be the privileged lady it's like it's too much or the privileged man somebody's burnt their bridges and it's because of the person's attitude like somebody's attitude like they don't have a conscience like they don't really know that they're doing it and I do feel like that there's a person who kind of tried to help them but it's so it's much more than a person could take because if you're like you got to think about it if this person is helping you out business wise and you are making a fool of yourself or you're not doing something right or you have this terrible attitude, that's going to reflect on them. So the privileged lady's thinking about it. Somebody burnt their bridge or is burning their bridges. They need to stop it. Yeah, look, you have the page of cups here like they're trying to. They're offering something like I'll do this out like they're trying to offer something to the privileged lady. And it's like and I feel like the privileged lady has this this heart on for them because they're young and they're so naive. The, the, the page of cups, they're naive, but it's just so much more like it's so the, the privileged lady can only can be but so lenient on this person. So, yeah. All right. So that is your reading. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.